Okay, in this tutorial we're going to use the uh, angle command built within Python so we can find the angle between two vectors. So, But before we start, let's take a look at back at the previous lesson where we had these two equations like this here. We had the dot product we were finding here, or rearranged we could find the cosine of the angle. So let's just take one last look at here for the finding the cosine of an angle. So we had two vectors. We had u it was a unit vector, basically a length of 1. And then I had v. I said I can place these anywhere. They don't have to be... Vectors are pretty interesting in that sense. They can be anywhere around, even because they're all just a magnitude and a direction, whether I place it up here or here or wherever. But these two vectors are parallel to each other. And we determined that when you found the dot product between the two parallel vectors, the answer was 1 because the cosine of 0 degrees, there's no angle between them, cosine of 0 degrees is 1. So that'd be like when your unit circle, that'd be x, your x coordinate would be 1. So there up here, we would, this term in this equation would be equal to 1. And then the magnitude of a unit vector, well, we know the magnitude because I specified it as 1, so that's 1 times 1 is 1, and this is 1, so I'm saying this equation evaluates to be equal to 1, so I'm saying the cosine of theta is equal to 1 in this case, but that doesn't really give us the angle. That gives us, usually what we're taking is the cosine of an angle to give us a value, a coordinate, but in this case we already have this number for cosine theta, but to, in order to take the number 1 and get it back to an angle, we have to use the arc cosine. It's like this, and this has a domain of 0 to 180 degrees, or if you're working in radians, it's 0 to pi. Alright, so the arc cosine like this, but also a lot of times you just see this written like this, the cosine, on your calculator it's typically like this, cosine of negative 1. So what it does is when you have a value and you use this arc cosine function, it returns an angle. So in here, on the calculator, we evaluated this to be 1 here, so I want to find the arc cosine of 1. So I come over to the calculator and I type in 1, but instead there's no arc cosine. You don't see a cosine with a negative 1 on this calculator so you just press the inverse button and there shows up as cosine negative 1 so I press that and it shows the arc cosine of negative 1 is 0 so 0 degrees is the angle between these two vectors okay so that's just kind of a quick review but now let's continue on to what I said was we were going to do which was use the angle command built within blender and within Python so I already have that typed in, so you'll be able to just download these files and instead of having to type it in yourself, though I do recommend typing things in because it's the best way to learn it. So I'll go to a script window here, and now what I have over here is here's the code that you need. Let's just review it. Here's the basic import of things, the get Blender game engine. Um, actually, I don't need the logic in this case. I, well, I might actually. Um, I have the math utilities because the math utilities have vectors in them. And here's my main definition for main. And the only thing I'm really doing in here is I'm creating two vectors using the math utilities command called vector. So math utils dot vector and within the parentheses and then this square brackets I have the x, y, and z components of a vector. So this first one I call z up axis and that's basically creating an ac a vector that points straight up on the global z axis. So x is 0, y is 0, and z is 1. So let's see if what how that makes sense when we look at it over in here. Here's the coordinates. I mean here's our map. Let me go back to Let's go into this view here so we can see it. So here's, notice our axes right here. Here's x, y, and z. And this is really great in Blender because x corresponds to the way it looks like in here. That's why I had this turned down. You turn this down and I'm looking straight above. That's Here's x and y like you would normally see in two dimensions. But when you look at it in three dimensions, z is pointing straight up. So it, when I specify a vector as 0, 0, 1. What I'm saying is that in X, it's there's no distance out here on X, and Y, there's no distance in Y, but Z is pointing up in 1, so it's got a 1. Now, I don't have to specify this huge distance up. I'm just specifying a direction when I 
put a 1 in there like that. So I know that it's pointing straight up on the z-axis. And then also I created another 3D vector called 0, 1, 0. So that would be 0 on x, 1 on y, so pointing in the y direction, and 0 on z. So this next vector is pointing straight down the y-axis. So I have 1 pointing up the z, 1 pointing the y. So basically it's in this yz plane like this, or where my two vectors are positioned right now. So imagine this being a flat plane over here and these are just the, those two vectors are laying flat on that surface. Okay, and so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the angle between those two vectors like this right there. Or if I turn it like this, I'm trying to find the angle between these two vectors. And so that's what this angle command does right down here. It's a Basically, here's the angle command. It's just called angle. And what you do is you specify your first vector, so vector1 dot angle, and then the second vector here. And then this number, well, maybe you recognize this. If you ever worked in the restaurant industry, 86 is a number when you want to cancel an order in the kitchen. You know, 86 that. You know, you get rid of it. Don't, don't use it anymore. This is an error code that's going to get returned to here if it doesn't work right. But in this case, what I'm saying is return the angle to this variable called angle between and the angle between vector 1 and the z up axis like this and then I'm going to print it. Now in order to run this script it's got to be tied to some kind of object in the scene so I'll go into ortho mode like this. I'll just tie it to any object. I can tie it to this text like this since we're actually looking for text I mean for an angle I'll just use that it, and then I have to go into the logic bricks. And well, first thing to note is that I've named this file angle between vectors. Okay, so go into the logic bricks, game logic, and I'll just put an always sensor in here. And I'll put a Python controller, and I'll click in here and I'll type angle between vectors as the name. Let me scroll that up a little bit so you can see it. There we go. And I'll connect them together. And I'll click that so it always runs. So now the, this angle between vectors command is always running. So then we get back to the script mode. So it should just come in here. When it runs the main program down here, it just runs everything between here. And the only thing it's doing is looking for a vector. It's I mean, specify one vector, specify another, find the angle between them, and then print the angle. So if I come over here, and of course you're going to need your um, console, toggle your system console here. And when you do, you'll get your console window up and running like this. So when I run this command, we'll go take a look at the console here in a second. So I'll come over here and I'll start it up with P. And I'll stop it. And then I'll go take a look at it. And there it is printing. It says, just like this, I say print the angle between the vector and give me the angle between. Now notice it's the angle between vector, same thing every time, 1.57. Well, we know it's 90 degrees, but if you're working in radians, which is how we're going to work most of the time within Blender, because all these commands typically work within radians unless you convert them, but by default, radians is the default way to work. And so 1.57 radians is the same as 90 degrees. Okay, well that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next lesson.